Hello all. So today we have uh, come up with another uh, interview topic that is how will you introduce yourself as a scrum master in any interview? So this is the question which we all are aware that we will be going to ask. So um, it helps uh, that uh, when you uh, like prepare it in advance before appearing for the interview. So today I will share with you few suggestions and tips how you can prepare the answer for, uh, for this question, like how will you introduce yourself and these uh, things which, which I have applied in my uh, previous interviews and it worked for me. So thought to share with you all. So let's start. So my first, um, so before I start, um, I, I want to uh, tell you that I have segregated the um, interview, like introduction part in two category. One is suppose you have um, maybe uh, five plus years of experience in a relevant experience as a scrum master. And one uh, category where you maybe have just uh, transitioned from any other role to scrum master role. So both the cases I will cover that how effectively or how confidently you can um, approach this answer during the interview. Okay. So my first suggestion, which is very common and which we all are aware, like uh, start with your name, total and relevant years of experience. Second is highlight your experience and your skill set and the certification you have done. So to frame this part, my suggestion will be uh, go through thoroughly the JD part of the organization for which you are appearing for the interview. You will find that in their JD, they might have mentioned that few skill set they are required and few maybe some certification also they have mentioned. From the skill set, if you are already working as a scrum master, I am very sure 80% of the skill set you are already possessing. Make sure that you take the wordings from the JD and you use it or you frame your introduction uh, with those skill set, make sure that those are there as a part of your introduction. And the certification they have mentioned, if you have already done it, make sure that you have mentioned it during the uh, introduction uh, period, okay? Even like if, if you have not done those certificate, but you have done some other Scrum related certificate, then you can add those as well. Okay, this area, what will happen that when we try to align with the JD, what it helps the interviewer to understand, okay, this is the right candidate, uh, which we are kind of uh, for this opportunity, maybe he, he or she can be a good fit. So this, this can be a good start if you uh, introduce yourself with this point. My next suggestion will be if you are just transitioned from any other role to scrum master role, you uh, may have uh, within two years of experience, relevant experience as a scrum master. Then after this, what you can do, you can emphasize a bit on your transition journey, like what are the area motivates you to take the scrum master role from your previous role. So this area just emphasize a bit. And if you are already working as a scrum master, maybe five plus years or three to four, three plus years, then you here you can mention your accomplishment. Like uh, as a scrum master, how you helped your organization, your teams to be agile, agile way of working and how many teams you have helped to this uh, transition and just try to align with the data when you, whenever you will be um, suggesting or you will be introducing yourself in your ac accomplishment because if, if we provide data to our accomplishment, like these many teams we have helped, these are the leading clients we have helped in their transition or any framework we, you have helped them to implement. So try with the real time example where you have actually done it. It gives some clarity and a good standpoint uh, for uh, against your uh, accomplishment which you are stating. 
okay the next uh, my uh, suggestion will be along with your accomplishment emphasize a bit on your current role in your current organization you might have 10 plus 5 15 plus years of experience and you have worked in various clients various projects various organization but make sure that you emphasize mostly on your current role and it should be aligned with the requirement now the next part will be emphasize on your strength if if you see most of the jd i have found that um, they are mostly uh, asking some good to have skill set like good collaboration skill good team player good communication skill so whatever strength on this you find that you are having your confidence about it just add those as your extra um, skill set which will be adding a value to the organization so add those as well my last point will be conclude with some lines that why you applied for this job why you feel that this organization will add some value in your career or in your career growth or professional growth because why you are a right candidate for the organization as well as why this opportunity is right for you both the things are very important so both the things we should add in our introduction so conclude with this and my last uh, uh, suggestion will be like ensure you provide enough information but like without overwhelming the interviewer so try to make it within um, two to three minutes don't uh, take it more than two to three minutes and um, now i will give you a demo that uh, uh, like uh, with this all points how you can frame your uh, introduction okay so let's start hello i am sahili and um, i am an experienced it professional with um, 11 plus years of industry experience over the past uh, four plus years i have dedicated my uh, focus as a scrum master specializing in agile project management i hold uh, certifications in scale agile framework professional scrum master and professional scrum product owner which have further strengthened my uh, expertise in this field Throughout my uh, career, I have worked with uh, various frameworks, including SAFE, Scrum, and Kanban. I have actively contributed to agile transformations within organization for various leading clients, and more than 10 plus team got benefited uh, with it. Assisting, uh, I have assisted my teams in ad adopting agile practices and achieving successful outcomes. We were able to enhance uh, like our feature lead uh, cycle time by 10% uh, and which led to higher customer satisfaction level uh, after adhering uh, agile methodology. Additionally, I had the opportunity to assist one of our clients in implementing scale agile framework and uh, by working closely with their team uh, we successfully launched uh, their first agile release train art within a year that was a big achievement for uh, for us and uh, team level my primary responsibilities are like facilitating all scrum event when and as required facilitating collaboration helping and guiding the team to remove the um, impediments and tracking metrics uh, to ensure the value delivery to the customer. Um, moreover, uh, I have been guiding the teams in driving um, continuous improvement initiatives, fostering a culture of learning and innovation. With my experience and passion for agile methodologies, I am now seeking a um, new opportunity to further enhance my skills and um, contribute to the success of a dynamic organization. Thank you. Okay, so this is kind of a demo I have given how applying those suggestions, you can 
uh, like frame your introduction you can customize it uh, based on your need based on the job description uh, but but this is the high level idea i wanted to give now if you find this one is mostly suitable for the Mm, role or the experience of a scrum master maybe uh, the scrum master is having five plus years of experience relevant experience as a uh, scrum master but i as i mentioned there can be scenario two as well where maybe you have just started or you have experience mostly within two years relevant experience your overall experience might be 10 plus 11 plus years but relevant experience is mostly one year or two year in that case uh, you can customize it like where i have mentioned that um, agile transformation safe implementation instead of those area you can emphasize on your transition journey as i mentioned like you can uh, elaborate the this as like throughout my um, career i have gained valuable experience in various roles uh, primarily in qa within scrum teams however my passion for effective agile uh, project management led me to uh, transition into the scrum master role and then you can continue with the rest of the introduction which i have already covered okay so i uh, hope it was helpful uh, for you all so those who are viewing this watching this please uh, like subscribe and share our channels thank you